welcome to my first ever semi-legitimate mock. And by that, I mean a mock that actually has landscaping in it and contains things on the landscape, which I have never done uh, successfully before. This is my first time. I was actually like, all right, I want to actually make a landscape that semi-looks uh, semi looks decent. And I think I did that very, uh, very adequately. So without further ado, let's get into the mock. And this is for the Lego Legend Mock Contest, which is a contest of mocks. So with this mock, I didn't really have anything in mind. I just wanted a river, and from then I let my imagination run wild. It's kind of, it's kind of set on an alien planet, I would like to think, which is uh, it's pretty evident, evident by the wildlife right over there and over there and the various plants growing throughout the thing, which that's not supposed to be there, which uh, I'll get into in a second. So I guess first I'll get into the exploration team right here. It's all made of mocks that have previously been on the channel, which I've kind of lumped into one group right here. We first have the Renegade motorcycle, which I have had on the channel and I've made a video on, which uh, I just figured it would fit very well in this environment, as well as Deep Dab. If you're asking the question on that, it's a long story as in terms of the name. So we have that one right there. Then we have Serenity, the custom minifigure that I made like uh, maybe two months back. So that one also fit in this environment, more of a alien type landscape. And now you can kind of look at the overall landscape right here without those guys in the way. So it's more uh, evident the intent of the river now like this. And then you also have, you know, the river right here. This is barren because I had to put those guys on it. But you have more mushroom-like plants, these domes that I just stuck on there because I thought they looked cool. We have these mushroom guys or whatever they're called. I don't even know what these are called. Some more alien-looking plant life over there, maybe machinery. I didn't give it much thought. We have the control tower, which has three of these pylons that are built like this with that more curved architecture going on and then having these film pieces over it which I was gonna try to make more integrated into the design but alas it uh, never quite went to fruition it comes onto these peaks over here there's cheese slopes and then these uh, light blue towers which go on the pattern going down the actual structure and then we have up here more of a indented look kind of give it more uh, let me think of the word more unique sense of design and we have a kind of data tower that's shooting something into the air uh, you could determine what it's shooting up in the air I don't know but I thought it would just be a nice little idea because originally it was just that tower and I thought that was kind of boring so I made it a data tower which is now that I think about it probably just as boring so let me deconstruct this thing a little bit let's take a look at the wildlife real quick we just got these different, like, I don't know, dog things? I just try to think, hey, what would look kind of neat together? And I put it together. It has two legs and a tail, kind of like a tadpole type thing. And I thought it would look cool by the river. And there's another one right there. And then we have this, I think this is kind of fun. When I had, I had really fun making this, this bird type creature, which uh, let me take this thing off real quick which has uh, four wings and then it has six legs down here, as you can clearly see. I just mainly had those all those legs so it could stick onto this that's attached to the tower, which hopefully you guys, which did its job of staying hidden, hopefully. And then we have a head right here, no eyes or anything. I just wanted a sloped, more headpiece. And I think that droid body, which I, I'll zoom in, gives it more of a unique look to that uh, creature that makes it kind of blend in with this universe because I really wanted the aesthetic to be more curved and sleek while I wanted the expedition force right here, maybe not this, but this guy to be more crude in comparison, which I made this guy for this. So I think I did a pretty good job at that. I don't know, you guys can decide. Um, and then that's basically it for the creatures. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, it kind of looks better without those guys. Dang. Might uh, probably should have thought that through before making this video. 
Okay, in conclusion, for the one of you who is not bored and is still here, thank you for watching. I ed entered this into the Lego Legend mock contest because I never entered into a mock contest, and I had this one freshly minted, and uh, I just kind of want to enter it, see what happens. Uh, I kind of want to just see other people's mocks, and that's also a fun part of the mock contest, so I hope you guys will uh, bear with me on that one. But yeah, I think this is... It was just a fun mock to make. It was just really fun. You know, just making this far out alien universe this is the first time I've ever used textures. Like, you can kind of see the not only the riverbed, but there's a second line that goes over here that I thought was also fun to make. But I don't think it came out bad. I really like how the river came out. And I think I will implement this on future mocks. So stay tuned, maybe, perhaps, if you want. And I'll see you guys all, maybe, in the next one. So first we have the uh, exploration force, let's say, which is uh, comprised, that just fell apart.